Welcome back everybody, uh, Midwood YouTube channel. Um, good morning, uh, actually a rather cool morning for April. Um, so today, I am bringing you all along to a nice fun filled day of soil sampling all over North Central Ohio. Uh, left Plymouth this morning at about seven. Wanted to get out a little earlier, but if any of you know me, I'm not a morning person. So, a little late getting out, but uh, we're going through Bascom area right now. Uh, sun's up, hopefully drying. Another great day of drying. Yesterday was good. Um, got to get that wheat stuff done, get that top dress. So we're hoping that uh, another day of drying today, tomorrow. Hopefully you get no rain Sunday because we're going to need it. And uh, get some stuff done. But today I'm bringing you along soil sampling. I got grid sampling. I got regular sampling. I got all kinds of sampling. Um, so... That being said, like I said, we're just going through Bascom now. I am headed up to North Baltimore to start. Uh, we got four, four fields to do up there. Uh, one's a 70 sampler. That's a big old field, but not the biggest, so not too bad. Um, but yeah, it's gonna. We're gonna be up in BG for a bit. Shoot over to Bellevue. We got seven samples to pull there, and then. Uh, bunch of stuff west of Shelby, like three or four more samples. Trying to finally clean up the, the soil sampling for the year, anything that popped up throughout the winter. Um, so, yep, just want to give you guys a quick intro, what we're doing, what I'm doing, what we're doing today. Um, got the gator, if you can see, and the little yellow thing hanging off the back right there. Um, here's the Wintex. We'll go around. I have never done a Wintex video because I never had the sound stuff because that has a hydraulic motor on the back and it gets quite loud. So I have all the filming kit with me. I'm probably not gonna get half the stuff I wanna get done today just because I'll probably be filming, but I think everybody'd like to see it, like to see how it works. It'd be easier to show people than uh, explain it because it, yeah, it's pretty hard. So that being said, I'm gonna turn and probably lose you guys to the sun, but I will see you when we get closer to the field. All right, field one done. Um, it takes about a minute per acre to do grid sampling, um, so not long at that one, it was only like 17 acres, so I head up north now to one of Tontogany's customers, um, I think it's just the field is right south of uh, the plant down there, or up there, so that's where we're headed to next, that's field two, so I will see you when we get there. Alright, we're at field three, so I'm actually going to record unloading because well I was able to get in the field Wood County's not known for field entrances compared to Plymouth or maybe Bascom so I want to just record me offload and then we'll get some other other shots of um, actually sampling because this is a soybean stubble field it's actually dry it's gonna be a lot easier to film so So I've turned everything off because we're gonna I'm gonna show you the, the iPad I use when we're getting to the points or going to the points, um, what the software looks like. Um, and then get a couple pictures of the, the Wintex working and um, just kind of general what I do at a point. Um, and then uh, crank this one out. I think it's only 13 points, 40 ish acres should be pretty quick to do but um, of course I'm filming so it's gonna take a little while so um, this if you can see it I'm gonna hope you can cover up a name um, but this is what the screen looks like when uh, we're using that iPad uh, I use an app called Rover um, it's what comes with FS AIS to, uh, to do the grid sample and stuff so let me see um, but that's that's the blue circle right here is me. Those are the row of points. Um, down in the bottom right, the log point area. That is um, where we drop our point. That will start to flash orange uh, when we're near a point within 50 foot, which is how I have it set up. 
and then I'll go through and, and pull our seven cores through there. So we're about on it. I need to go a little more to the west, um, but we'll get a get a quick shot of that. Everything running. See how this how the Wintex works. Okay, last field up here in Wood County. Um, this is the airport actually. And it's this many bags, kind of dreading it. That's 70, 70 samples. I'm not gonna record it, I need to get that done. It's gonna take at least an hour and a half and it's 11 o'clock already, so. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna figure out how to, how I get in there and hopefully I get out of where I'm sitting. Um, hopefully I'll get a pull in, pull out shot somewhere. If I do, if I do, I do, I do, I don't, I don't. Um, but I think up in Bellevue, it will be a good spot. It's on pretty back country road. So um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead, get to the airport, get that done. And I'll see you guys either pulling out of the airport or uh, when we get to Bellevue, so. All right, just uh, pulled into our Bellevue job. Um, got seven fields here in total. 
Bellevue actually looks drier than the uh, rest of the country, so we will get unloaded and see what we get into. I'm sure I'll find something that's holding water, but let's see what happens. We got the uh, Bellevue jobs done, seven in total. Um, shot a little bit, there wasn't a lot really to see, just uh, regular regular conventional soil sampling. Just take course throughout the field and just drive about. So uh, I got a little bit of video, um, driving to one of the fields, uh, little guy working ground. So spring is officially here. Um, so yeah, we are headed south to near Monroeville now and uh, got three fields there and then we're south of Shelby so all right everybody well that ends uh, today's soil sampling video I'm just pulling out of uh, Plymouth local schools we had to do a quick sample for them the FFA field and uh, didn't have much else to film kind of went from Bellevue got got everything else done that I needed to do just more of the same stuff, just different locations. So I figured I wouldn't film it, but uh, yeah, there we go. Um, but yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed today's video. Um, hope you liked it. Don't forget to leave a like, uh, subscribe as well, comment below if there's anything that you're you know wanting to know more about um, with grid sampling, regular soil sampling, what I do um, at Midwood or. Uh, about the Wintex. We've had that for two years now, so I um, feel like I've probably had to work on it in some way, shape, or form. So I uh, feel like I'm pretty comfortable with it. But anyway, enough about that. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and um, see us next week for uh, next week's video. Should have some uh, wheat top dress stuff going on, so that'll be fun.